One Cincinnati attorney says a federal judge's recent ruling in favor of his client protects your right to speak up without fear of arrest. So deputies put a commissioner in Trumbull County that's up north in handcuffs. Charges are dropped, but she filed a civil case, a lawsuit. WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey tells us why her attorney says the ruling could protect free speech for you. A federal judge has ruled that the sole Republican on the Trumbull County Board of Commissioners was arrested as a way to stifle her speech. A Cincinnati attorney says that he took that Cleveland area case up as a way to protect the free speech rights of people here. The judge's opinion begins, here in America, we do not arrest our political opponents. Ms. Frenchko. What? Please stand up, please. Nikki Frenchko says it happened to her during a 2022 meeting. Her fellow commissioners tried to move on as she criticized the sheriff. You're talking about the chief law enforcement officer in Trumbull County. You know, it's unacceptable. point of, don't interrupt me. She continued for more than a minute. Then two deputies placed her under arrest for disrupting a public meeting the lone Republican voters elected to conduct. She live streamed the arrest. Please Under set your arrest. phone down. Put your phone down. We're going to place you in handcuffs. I. You are now under arrest for disruption I have, of a whoa, whoa. What is that moment like for you when you're actually put in handcuffs at a meeting? Uh, I, I didn't think it was real. If you saw the video of, of that happening, I did a double take. So she sued the county, her fellow commissioners, and the sheriff's department. Cincinnati civil rights attorney Matt Novak jumped to take the case. The sheriff should have known better. His deputy should have known better. The court ruled this week the sheriff, two deputies, and French Co.'s fellow commissioners were liable for damages. If you're disrupting the meeting, I'm stand not. up. Even though the charge against her was dropped. That level of intimidation is intended to send the message to everyone to watch what they say. The reality is if the government didn't have have to pay anything. There were no financial consequences for their actions. What's to stop them from doing it all over again, constantly, constantly, constantly? Now, I reached out to the sheriff's office and commissioned for comment, and as of yet, I haven't heard back. Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.